Hey DevOps enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel where I'm going to take your development to new heights. Today we're going to talk about something that can make your deployment soar like a helicopter cutting through the clouds, CI CD. If you're new to the term CI CD, think of it as the autopilot for your software development process. It's all about continuous integration and continuous deployment. And trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll never want to go back. So, what exactly is CI CD? Imagine your code base is like a helicopter, and every time you make a change, you want to ensure that it flies as smoothly and safely as possible. Continuous integration is all about automatically testing those changes to make sure that nothing's broken. A bit like doing a pre flight check every time you tweak something. Then you've got continuous deployment which is like hitting the launch button and watching your helicopter take off, deploying your app into production with zero manual intervention. But instead of worrying about whether it crashes, you're confident because your CI has already done all the checks for you. Let's dive deep into the tools that make this possible. First up, Jenkins, that old reliable bird in the CI CD world. It's like the Chinook helicopter of CI tools powerful and built for heavy lifting with jenkins you can set up a pipeline that automatically runs your tests and builds your project every time there's a code change but hey if you're looking for something a little bit more agile github actions is like the apache helicopter the ci tools sleek fast and integrated right into your repository Let's set up a simple pipeline in GitHub Actions and see how it works. Here's a project, what's running where. It's a small project for tracking deployments. In this example, I've got a branch with a very small change in it. Also on the change, I've got some tests that automatically run against that pull request. These tests actually run within GitHub Actions. Here, we can see the individual stages within the job. We have tests. We also got a static analysis of the code and code coverage for the tests and the output. What does this look like though? If we head over to the GitHub and into workflows, there's a YAML file, of course. In this YAML file is a definition of a GitHub Actions, and it shows all the steps that we saw just now. Check out the code, set up PHP, check out the dependencies, and then run the tests. And so we can see the result of this GitHub Actions on the PR. All the tests pass, so let's merge it in. All right, so our CD pipeline is ready for takeoff. But what about deployment? This is where CD, continuous deployment, comes in. We're going to automate the deployment process so that every successful build can be deployed without you even needing to lift a finger. It's like having a good ground crew that knows exactly what to do every time your helicopter lands. Let's set up an automated deployment to a cloud platform, whether it's AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. Other platforms are available. I'll show you how to deploy with confidence knowing your code has been thoroughly tested by the CI pipeline. And there you have it folks, your deployment pipeline is ready for takeoff. It's fully automated like a well-oiled helicopter that's ready to go. But remember, setting up is just the first step. To keep your CI CD pipeline reliable and scalable, you need to follow some good practices. Here's a quick rundown. Keep your pipeline simple and modular, like a Lego helicopter. You should be able to add and remove parts without breaking stuff. 
Use version control for your pipeline configurations. Think of it as your flight manual and you want every version documented. And monitor and optimize. Keep an eye on your pipeline's performance to make adjustments where necessary, just like you'd fine tune a helicopter's controls. With these practices in place, your CI CD pipeline will be reliable co pilot, helping your projects take off and land smoothly every time. Thanks for watching, and if you found this useful, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and share with your fellow developers. Stay tuned for more DevOps tips and tricks, and until next time, may your code always pass the tests and your deployments always be smooth.